All right. So now we are going to look at our next steps of the application. So welcome to Winona Wednesdays. My name is Sammy Eckerson, and I am the Recruitment and Admissions Advisor for Winona State University of Rochester and Winona State Graduate Studies. So welcome today. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about our next steps. Um, we have gone through the process of uh, um, requesting information on our um, My Warrior Life page. We have applied to one on state. So now we need to go through the process of uh, um, submitting transcripts, paying our $20, dollars, things like that. So I am going to share my screen and we are going to go start that process. All right. So the first thing we need to do is um, whether you are a transfer or a grad, we need to submit our transcripts. Okay, so if you have attended a college um, at another Min State institution, um, so if you have gone Minnesota State um, uh, College or institute or um, anywhere in the uh, like our community colleges or our state institutions, and I'll show them right to you right now. Here's our campuses and our programs. Then we can retrieve them. So this is anything like Maine Cato State, uh, St. Cloud State, RCTC, Riverland. Um, let's see, Bemidji. Here's a big, a nice big map um, of any and all of our colleges. So we actually can retrieve any of these colleges in any of these transcripts for these colleges. So the transcripts that we cannot receive and the transcripts that you will need to actually officially request are those transcripts that are outside of these, this system. So private institutions, um, institutions like um, the U of M, uh, you know, St. Kate, uh, Gustavus, uh, anything that's out of state. So Iowa, Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, anywhere obviously that's out of state and those international transcripts. So I will show you an easy way to do that. Um, and I can show you um, how to do that if you just have one transcript and that you might just need to um, go request. Okay, so an easy way to go request all transcripts at once is actually called the National Student Clearinghouse. So if you just type in National Student Clearinghouse, you can see that I've done this multiple times. This is the uh, website that will come up. And what you can do is you can request um, multiple transcripts from this site. So you go through and you can um, track the schools. So let's say we want to track um, something from Iowa, right? So it will just start bringing up different colleges. Um, you hit continue, right? and you put in your information, okay, um, how you want it to be sent, order transcripts. Um, it does cost a fee for this. It shows the different options that you want, right, and that you want it to be sent to Winona, okay? We want it to be sent to our central scanning location, which is admissions at, win at winona.edu. Okay, and I'm going to say that again, that's admissions at winona.edu, and I will put that in to the comments below. Um, so if you have multiple transcripts, I know that there are many students, whether you're a transcript or a transfer or a graduate student that have multiple transcripts, this might be easy because you can just go through and actually one by one go through the ordering center and order all of those transcripts, okay, through um, this knowledge or national clearinghouse. Okay, if you just have one transcript, uh, it might be easier if you just uh, Google that one um, college, right? Like the U of M, um, you can just type in U of M and official uh, transcript, right? And it might just come up with the office that you need to go to and how to order those transcripts, right? So order method, um, we do not want unofficial, we want actual unofficial transcripts, okay? Now, if it comes to a, a point where your school has actually been closed, then 
contact me directly and I can walk you through that process of how to get those transcripts. That is a very specific process. But again, um, if you uh, type in North Dakota State University official transcript, um, there is usually a process right away of how to order official transcripts and each college will have that and where to send it, right? And we want it all to go to admissions at winona.edu. Okay, so that is the first step, getting all of your transcripts to Winona State. Okay, the second step is to pay your $20 fee, all right? So that part, you have two options, all right? The first option is to go to this resources tab, go to eServices, and log in. All right. Um, so I can log in with my. Oops. And if you go down the line here into bills and payments, we'll bring you over to your bills and payments um, screen. Okay. And you should see your $20 fee over here on your balance, okay? And you can make a payment, okay, over here. If you do not see that balance yet, it may just be that it hasn't been loaded yet or that you may um, just, you know, technology takes a little bit sometimes. So you'll need to actually go to um, that, the office um, of the cashier's office and make that fee. Okay, so I'm gonna go show you where that um, office is and it's over in the Warrior Hub. Um, so I usually just search Warrior Hub. I, I'm sorry, I'm bad like that. Um, so in the Warrior Hub, you can either call this number um, and pay directly with your credit card or you can go to a student account services Here's another way that you can do it. Um, pay over in student accounts and they will take your credit card over the phone for that $20. Okay, so that was the next one. Um, another thing that's on your list of things to do um, during this time period of while, when we are reviewing your application is um, immunizations. So sometimes during this time period, um, you, if, especially if you haven't gone to school in Minnesota, the, uh, our um, office requires um, a list of immunizations, okay? It doesn't mean that you need to get immunized for COVID. It means that we need a list of immunizations for um, clinicals, things like that. So um, the health services office um, has the information about that. So Um, if it does come up on your list of things to do, I would go over to um, this requirements. And so all students need to, to complete this immunizations record. If they were born before, you know, this, and they just need to complete this form. Okay, so it's just a measles, mumps, rubella, and the tetanus shot. Okay, so this is a... Um, a record form that needs to be completed within 45 days of enrollment. So it doesn't need to be done right now, but um, after you register, then make sure that you get this form filled out. And if you have any questions, you can 100% contact the office. Um, and if you um, would like to contact that office, then that's fine. But this is just to make sure that you have completed your measles, mumps, rubella, and tetanus shot. Um, form. So this is all that has to do with that. All right. So um, the next thing on our list, I believe, is um, how to apply to the program. Okay. So for that, um, we, we, you can go to the specific program and double check uh, if there's any requirements. Some programs do have specific um, secondary program applications and some don't, okay? But you won't know until you go double check. So for example, um, I, for one 
a program that I do know has a, um, a secondary application is the College of Business, okay? So for program admission, you need to make sure that you um, apply to the College of, of Business by completing this form, okay? So all of this will be discussed with your advisor, uh, Katie, and but it is basically completing this form, okay? Another place that I know does have a uh, secondary application is uh, the social work program, okay? These are undergrad programs. I'll get to the graduate programs in just a second. So the social work program has um, a, a longer application. Oh, I picked the wrong one. No, I did not. Okay, so the social work program uh, has a longer program or a longer application, and it's in this handbook, all right? And you read through this handbook and essentially the application is um, at the end of this handbook, okay? And again, you fill out this application with your advisor, but it's good to know that there is a secondary application that you, um, that you need to fill out, okay? So my suggestion is as soon as you fill out that application, go to your program page and just start looking around and start exploring what you need to do on this page, right? Is there anything that you need to look for? Is there anything else that you need to apply to? It's a little bit more laid out on the graduate website. So on the program pages, for sure, after you complete the graduate application, 100% there is a secondary application that you need to complete after applying. So as soon as you apply, go out to the program page and apply to the program, okay? 100% you will not be admitted into the program if you don't apply, okay? So number one is to fill out the graduate studies application and number two is to submit the application materials. So make sure that you are going to that, that page and reviewing what you need to do to um, apply to those programs. So many of the programs want you to have a resume, a professional statement of goals. Some have secondary um, tests that you need to take. The MPA wants you to take the GMAT. Some, if sometimes there is a qualification for a waiver. Um, so the counseling education programs, here is how you apply. You gain admission to graduate study and then update your resume, two to five references, personal statement. Okay, so my suggestion again, after you filled out the application, just like we did last week, that's under 10 minutes, go to this program page and look at the programs, okay? On both of our admissions pages, there are going to be academic deadlines, okay? This is the academic deadlines for the graduate studies, okay? And this will show you when each of the departments um, have admissions and when and where they hold or where their um, additional requirements are held, right? So there's links everywhere. So for example, nursing, their deadline is October 1st. So it's coming up really fast. Education is a rolling admission after February 15th, okay? So make sure that you review the deadlines so that you don't miss anything, okay? For the, I'll go to the admissions, important date and deadline for undergraduate. For transfer students, you know, they admit each term, but make sure that you go to their to each program page to make sure you're not missing those deadlines. Typically for transfer students, they follow these deadlines as well. 
All right, so I believe that this is all we were talking about today. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will make sure to put all of these links into the Facebook page as well. And again, have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. All right, bye.